I know you're watching this. I know you're watching this on the toilet. I know you're uh, consuming perishable items through your mouth hole. If you could leave a comment in the comment section down below, your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm. God, a God of which who likes to wear belts on the flat range and talk about them. Wait, no. Just hammer back to the rear. Um, well, of course, this is inert, so we should be safe. So this video is gonna be sponsored by Core. So full disclaimer, Core is the maker of this belt that I'm wearing right now. They sent me this belt to try out as well as they wanted the name thrown out on the channel. So uh, I wanted to get the full disclosure out of the way before we talk about a potential piece of kit. I have a car rolling up. We'll see if it keeps going and it's turning away. Okay. All right, so let's talk about the belt real quick with the full disclaimers out of the way. I've been trying this belt out for a little bit. I'm no stranger to rocking a uh, belt and I kind of will go over how I set it up real quick. So initially I was kind of skeptical on how it worked because out of the box you have to cut it. Um, so, uh, so what I mean by that is it comes, already it comes, it, it has over the ratchet system over here, down on this side, but over here where the buckle is, you cut this, right? So you cut the belt to fit your size. And to me, that's not dummy proof because I am the dummy and it's not foolproof for me. So I will probably mess it up and I probably did mess it up. That being said though, I like the idea behind the ratchet system as far as adjustability goes. So if you're one of those guys that um, your belt size fluctuates a lot when you eat. So say you're you know, law enforcement, military, you have a big meal, a big sit down foodie and uh, you're belt line expands you can quickly loosen it up and or tighten it down depending on how skinny you get that to me is kind of cool so if you're like spending a lot of time on the range for the day or if you wear this to a duty capacity and you want to take a little bit of a load off but not have to take off your entire kit you potentially loosen the belt up right all right so it, it comes with this inside liner you also have to cut which i <laughs> looks like i did a terrible job but i try to pray it this is the inside female velcro the the loop where the other side is the hook, right? I always say the female male Velcro, like I'm just kind of like Velcro scientist. Lord, forgive me. Before we dive in how I kind of set up the belt, we'll talk about what I kind of think of it. Um, out of the box, there's a lot to do to set it up, which I was kind of hesitant on, as opposed to say like a cry rigger belt or other belt platforms, like an HSP belt or stuff like that, where typically you just run a interior belt. It's kind of like duty or it's rated for being hooked up to aircraft too. With this, I can't remember off the top of my head, I'll maybe insert if it is rated for aircraft usage or if you can hook up to it. I don't know if it is and I don't think it is, but uh, if you have to be hooking up to aircrafts and this isn't, then well, of course, it's not gonna be the belt for you. But it is a good option, I think, if you want to expand your belt arsenal. To me personally, to really get the full bang for its buck, you typically run you know, the, the Velcro belts with um, an inside loop tucked in your shirt and then you have the belt that goes over it to me personally. Um, this is, I, I like leaving my shirt untucked. I don't like tucking my shirts for weird X factors because I look at myself and I'm like, oh, I need to stop drinking and I eat less food. Maybe I'm getting fat, maybe I need to lose weight, but that's my problem. Nonetheless, it still holds up and it's a good design. Um, I don't, I kind of like belts that where you can use them easier over, you just throw them over real quick as opposed to if you're tucking them in, you're already kind of like ready for a fight. Uh, in theory, you can have your Velcro underneath you at all times, everyday carry. And if you wanted to rapidly upscale, you know, your kit, you could do that. I typically carry um, the Segura Gear uh, belt. This one's going to be the emissary belt. I like these belts a lot because as opposed to say if this was your everyday carry belt and you want to have like a low vis Velcro belt, it could technically work. But to me, everyday carry belts going to be more rigid for holding up your gun within your pant line. So also good link to Segura Gear down in the description down below. The core belt will also be linked. Different companies, ooh, in the same video, whoa. So how I set the belt up real quick. So I got the Safari Land holster over here. Got the tourniquet holder from Soil Eater. The Safari Land holster is gonna be the 60 series, the 600, 6000 series. I always forget which name. This is a level three retention. The hood is on there. So that we're in the hood. So I kind of dig that a lot. We're always pro tip in life always dump out that bottom little hole down here because stuff gets stuck down in there. That is a common thing within uh, anyone that carries a Safari Land. You don't want any brass or debris getting inside your holster. 
Yes, it is unloaded. Got the Glock 19 in here with the Jaeger Works cut, a little Area 15 Cerakote and laser work, Aimpoint Acro, and the PL350 from ModLite. It's doing me good. Moving down the belt, we got ourselves the First Spear Crank Pouch. I love the crank pouch uh, as far as a lot of belt work stuff goes. It does awesome for different type of mags. I can take a PS90 and or P90 mag, crank that mug down, and it'll should, in theory, stay in there, but probably should do it, yeah. That, yeah, that's a good, decent orientation. P90 mags are weird, but you can have that. Typically, though, this holds AR mags for me. Then I switch over to, I'll switch over. Then we move down to the S-Tech mag pouches over here, holding two Glock-type mags, and then I have a Mod Light Okay, W head with the Mod Light body and the Mod Light holster. This is very much a duty setup uh, to where, you know, you're going to want offhand light. Then I got some Pig SKD gloves down here on a carabiner. Carabiners on gear, uh, from what I hear, I don't really see it too much, but from what I hear, can be a controversial topic because if you're trying to get small into certain tight spaces, the carabiner may get you hooked up on wires and other things. So how do I, how do I feel about it? Well, you know, honestly, no, I don't think it's my favorite belt. I don't think it's my favorite belt setup. I think my Cry Rigger belt is still my favorite. Um, that's just me, my preference. I've had that one for a while now, and I enjoy that one the most. But this one does a good job for a good slimline belt. Um, it's a little bit thinner than the Cry Rigger's belt. The Cry, you had to cut down uh, the outside material to fit on this Fireland holster. And this one does good. It's just another option out there, you know. The, Gear is one of those things where it's a nuanced topic in the sense of a lot of preference, right? Now, there is gear that is, of course, going to be better than other kit, but, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of your preference, a lot of what do you do? Are you, like, a security guard? Or are you a high-speed Navy SEAL? I don't know. If you're a high-speed Navy SEAL watching this channel, I don't know why you're here. <laughs> it's, my, it's my disclaimer. Another option that exists. I'm not going to shill them and say that they are the best belt ever made. They are another option that exists and I'll try them out because uh, this is now what I do as a channel. So, <laughs> Hey gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm God, a God of which who is uh, belty and uh, full of concepts. I don't know where I'm going with that one. If you want to support the channel in any way, shape or form, Patreon is an excellent way to support the channel as well as merchandise, as well as supporting any of the companies listed here. If this is something you want, then let them know that I sent you. Cigar gear, another one, hey, strategic, all this other stuff. As always, gentlemen, stay easy, stay breezy. I will catch you all on the flip.